Hi guys, we are here with another video for my creative year for May 2020. So this month we're going to be talking about color mixing, but first we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to have a little chat first. So I decided in light of what's going on in the world right now, um, we're all forced to decide what our priorities are, right? I mean, it's one of the things when we're stuck at home. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're watching this in the future, Google 2020, and you'll figure it out. Um, I decided going forward that something I thought about before the new year is actually going to be a reality. Uh, what do I mean by that? So all the videos from my creative year, while they will still be uploaded onto YouTube, will be loaded as unlisted. And the only people who are going to have the links are the teachers in my creative year and all of you students in my creative year. These videos are for you guys only. They're special videos and um, all the other videos um, will be um, re will be an, uh, are and remain public. But going forward, everything will be unlisted. So they're only for you guys. I would appreciate you keeping the links in, in the group and not sharing. And um, yeah. So going forward, it's gonna be just for you guys. I'm gonna be doing more of that too with other things that I'm doing. I'm gonna be probably loading less publicly to YouTube and doing more special things just for you guys and also for the people over on Patreon. So this is the first of those. So this month we're gonna talk about basic color mixing. So we only are gonna be using primary colors and then black and white. So I'm gonna move this a little bit. So you will notice if you look at this chart that I already made, there's two yellows on here. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Um, you don't need two, you just need one. Um, I used this quilting ruler that I have to create this one inch grid square on here with a fine point Sharpie pen. And then outside each square, I wrote the color. So I wrote the colors across the top and then in the same order down the side. I do believe we've done this before. I don't remember what video, but if one of you all knows, let me know. Um, and in each color, I'm sorry, in each square, we're gonna put that color. Now, if that color uh, mixes with say white, red and white, we're gonna mix them, try to do half and half, and then whatever color we get, we'll put it here. Red and yellow, red and lemon, red and blue, and then red and black, all right? The reason I have two yellows, and these are all, I think, Americana paints, except for the white, which is Dina Wakely, yeah. Um, so I have Dina Wakely white, it's what I had, so I'm using what I have. Um, Americana primary red, uh, lamp black, pri uh, true blue, primary yellow, and then lemon yellow. So I picked the two yellows because this Americana yellow is, in my opinion, slightly orange. Um, and this one is a brighter lemony yellow. So um, the shade of red and blue and yellow that you use is gonna make a difference in what colors you get when you're color mixing. I'm, uh, we're all gonna be using what we have because it's not like we can get out to the shop. So we're gonna use what we have, but if you're not getting the color that you want, it might be the shade of color you're using to do the mixing. Um, ideally, I believe you want magenta, cyan, and is it just yellow? I don't remember right now, but I will try to find out in editing and I will put it here somewhere. I'll put some text here somewhere. Um, I know it's magenta, cyan, and then I forget, it might just be plain yellow. Um, and of course I don't have those. <laughs> so this is what I have, so this is what we're going to use. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, I also have a paintbrush. I've got some water off camera and I've got a plate. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna just put the white here cause it's just white and white. So I'm gonna put a dot of white on my plate. I'm gonna spread out this white that's on here which you aren't gonna be able to see cause it's almost the same color as the paper. Then I'm gonna rinse off my brush wipe it on a rag and then I'm going to take my plate and where that little dot of white is I'm going to put a little dot of red and then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some red white 
That was obnoxious sound. Black. Which is almost empty. The blue and the two yellows. It's a little watery, needs to be shaken up. They've been sitting for a little bit. That's better. Yellow. See, so that one's just, in my opinion, that's a little bit uh, just kind of orangey. I don't know. We'll try this lemon one too. This one might be a little chalky. I don't think either one of them is quite right. Let's put it that way. But again, we're using what we have. So we have about half and half red and white. And if you remember from basic kindergarten class, that's going to make a pink, right? How light or dark a pink depends on how much white you put in. So white with red. And then we'll rinse off our brush. Then we're going to do some of the white with some of the yellow, which is going to lighten it up. Now I'm not doing the swatch of the original color because here we're yellow meets yellow, the original color as it is will go there. So you can just go ahead and put a swatch there. That's what the original color looks like. Same with the red. Okay, then we'll do white with lemon. which will give you a very, very pale yellow. And then where lemon meets lemon, okay. Then white and blue. and then the pure blue. I almost put that in the wrong square. Did you all catch that? Okay. And then white and black. Now, <clears throat> some of these mixes are going to just be... Oh, that was white. That was white and blue. Whoops. Some of these mixes are, you know, basic things you probably all learned in school. But if you're like me, you learned them and forgot about them until you started playing with paint and art. Okay, so white and black, of course, make gray. And then down here, we'll put the pure black. So then you would do the next line. So the next one is red, right? So. Red and white, we would have the pink, which we've already mixed. Then red and yellow, red and lemon, red and blue, red and black, right? So I want you to do the whole chart that way. I'm going to speed forward through the process a little bit, and I'll be right back.
Okay, so there's our completed color chart of what kind of a basic color range you can get just using a few colors, which is pretty interesting. We, of course, are gonna take it one step further. So I want you to find one or more objects around your house or your art room, and we are gonna practice trying to color match them. Yes, I know it's a little scary, but just, it's okay, you can do this. So I, of course, right away, was like, well, let's try my glasses. There's actually two colors on the glasses. There's this turquoise color and then this limey green color. Now, as far as the turquoise color is concerned, there is a close color match on the chart already. We're gonna see if we can get a little closer. So it was with the blue and the lemon. So we're gonna take the blue. I'm running out of room on my plate and some of the lemon, we're gonna mix them together. I'm gonna start with approximately equal parts. And now if you're doing this for a larger art project, you of course wanna mix a, um, a large quantity enough to, to hopefully do the whole project plus some. You don't wanna to have to remix this because you probably won't get it exactly right. So that's a little bit off still. It's a little too green, not blue enough. So we'll add a little more blue. I also think it might be a little chalky and that might be that lemon yellow that's, it's a little bit chalky. So that's close, but not exactly right. See the glasses are brighter than the, okay, so let's try with the other yellow. I need some more, I need some more blue. Still not exactly right. Again, it, it might be the colors of paint that I'm using. It's close though. So how much of each color you put in is gonna make a big difference with what you get. Of course, if you put more yellow, it's gonna be more of a yellowy blue, yellowy green. If you put more blue, it's gonna be more of a bluey green. That's better. So I added a lot more blue. Look at that and that other yellow, and that's almost exactly, right? So then if you took that color and you added a little white to it, you would get this. And if you took that color and added some black to it. And then I'm gonna rinse off my brush here. If you took that color and added red to it. And those are all the colors you get by being inspired by the blue in this pair of glasses and then playing with color mixing and trying to match the color and then seeing what kind of variations you can get.
and you can get different tones of each one of these colors by adding white to them to make a lighter tone or black to make a darker tone. Pretty cool, huh? So I want you to go out this month and I want you to play with color mixing. I want you to use what you have, start with primaries, and then if you wanna add other colors in, you can. Um, grab one or more objects in your art room and try to color match that object. See what you can do to come up with a new and unique color. I would love to see what you do in the group. Uh, please share over in the Facebook group. Um, if for some reason you're watching this video, even though it's unlisted and you're not part of the Facebook group, the link for it will be in the description so you can join there. Um, I will say that when you are thinking about adding a new paint or medium to your art supplies, um, something you haven't tried before, um, maybe you've tried watercolor but not acrylic paint, maybe you've tried acrylic paint but not watercolor or not gouache, you really don't need to go out and buy you know, every color in the rainbow. You really only need the three basic colors in black and white. And you could look at the range of color that you get with just that. So um, when you're out shopping for art supplies, don't go spending a ton of money, especially in something you're trying new that you're not sure you're gonna like. Um, just get the basics and then black and white. And then what I do personally going forward is if I find there's a color I'm mixing a lot of, like a tealy, blue color um, or purple and I know I'm getting tired of mixing that color all the time, then I will go buy that particular color. Um, but I usually start out with a very basic set and then go forward from there. Um, and I would definitely advise that. But I would love to see what you guys get up to with color mixing and playing with your basic colors and seeing what you can do. I'd love to see what kind of charts you come up with using the paints that you have in your, in your stock like I did where I just, you know, don't have quite the right colors, but you know, I have these ones, so we use these. Um, I would love to see what you come up with using what you have in stock. Um, that would be really fun. I am gonna scan this and I will put a copy of it up in um, the Facebook group. I'll make some notes on it about exactly what kind of paints that we used and what these different mixes are. And uh, I'll scan the whole page for you all. So you guys have some notes you can print out. And you can, if you have these paints, you can try the same thing. All right, that's it for today. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Well, like and subscribe. Don't share it unless you're, you know, in the Facebook group. <laughs> you can talk about the video over there. It's so unlisted again for you guys in the Facebook group only. But please like, hit that little bell notification, uh, and subscribe uh, if you want to know what future videos I do come out with. Um, don't forget to um, check out vid the video description for ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art group, not only on my video, but all your favorite creatives videos. Everybody has a way um, to support the free content, whether it's a, a Patreon or an Etsy shop or an Amazon affiliate link or a PayPal tip jar or something. If you don't see something in their video description, ask, um, they probably have something. And um, so we all would appreciate you checking that out and doing what you can. Um, of course, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.